Hey guys, I'm back with some more Kanawashu Joe. In the last episode, we ended that discussion with uh, Lily uh, in Shizune. And then uh, Hanako arrived later in the afternoon. Or I, I guess it was, yeah, it was the afternoon because it was lunch. And, uh, and now it's, yeah, now it's dinner time. Uh, but she was too shy, I guess, to go by herself since you know she's that kind of person um, so we asked if we could go with her to the cafeteria and so we're here now looking for Lily she gives a small smile as she says it evidently appreciating the fact that Lily goes out of her way to help her it's pretty cute really there isn't any need to say more both of us content that the discussion has reached an end. As we ascend the stairs back to the uh, lobby, we are met by a group of students heading downstairs like a school of fish moving from one feeding area to another. They seem to be keeping mostly to themselves, but before I can notice they are doing so, Hanukkah has moved around behind me. Hey, are you alright? You just keep going. The students pass us without as much as a second glance, and Hanukkah takes up position to my side again as we enter the building. Her momentary reprieve from her anxiety all but snatched away. Even as we climb towards the third floor, she doesn't seem to relax. It isn't, it isn't as if I've ever known a shy person before, or even shy girls, but Hanukkah seems to be pretty far beyond that, what I'd call normal in her fear of other people. If it weren't for Lily, Acting as a mediator, uh, I doubt Hanako would even have even been able to walk beside me like this. She seems to completely shut down in the presence of others. The rest of the walk up to Lily's classroom continues in strained silence while I rue her inability to socialize at all. After we make our way up the stairs, the noise coming from Lily's classroom is audible from halfway down the hallway. I wasn't expecting such a din at all. Well, I guess we found her. This wasn't hard. Did Hanako come here first, then come to the uh, come to me for backup? I wonder. Well, if that's true, then at least she's starting to trust me a little. That can only be a good thing. Yeah. Eventually, the two of us reach the door to class three two with Hanako, less than subtly positioning herself behind me. I open the door. Inside is a hive of activity, seemingly ever. Every student in the class talking at once as they work hurriedly on their separate tasks. Going by the paint cans, decorations, and manners being made, it must be for this upcoming school festival. I guess my first priority should be finding Lily. There. Finding her among the din is surprisingly easy. Not the least because of her books. Books? Looks. Ugh. With a couple of students gathered around her as she stands at the front of the class, she seems to be in charge of the preparations, or at least busy organizing them. Carefully negotiating a path through the various students hunched over the floor for lack of desk space, I raise a hand entirely out of habit as I finally reach Lily. Hi Lily. She perks her head up as she breaks off talking to a noticeably smaller girl who must be her classmate, trying to listen as best she can. Sorry, who? Ah, uh, sorry, Hussel. I have Hanukkah too. Uh, hi. She's pretty skittish, considering the number of people around. It isn't too hard to outcut out why. Lily takes a moment, a uh, moment's pause, assess the situation before turning to the other student once again. For the moment, just ask Mor uh, Moria for his advice. Kenji's busy with painting one of the banners already. A quick nod, and she bounces off, fingers carefully sliding along the wall's face uh, for orientation. Wait, Kenji? That Kenji? I quick he turn about, leaning to the side to see past Hanako. Sure enough, in the corner of the room, Kenji's hunched over a sheet of cloth as he paints it. His eyes remain only inches from the brush, reminding me of how close he had to be to make out my face when I met him. Sorry about that, our class doesn't have many students with even partial eyesight, so we're in high demand. That's right, class 3-2 was especially for students with poor vision. Preparing for the festival must be pretty arduous for them. Need a hand? I could give you help if you need some. Maybe Hanako could too. A chance to set her mind on something would, uh, would do her good. But I doubt she has the courage to ask outright. 
she could collapse inform information afterwards, so I'm conf confident I made the right move. Lily gives a noticeable sigh of relief. Ah, uh, that's good. This might actually get finished before everyone goes off to dinner now. Would you be able to help the person painting the main banner? It's a big task for him to do, but nobody else can help. Kenji? Sure. She seems surprised that I know him. I can't really blame her. I take it you've met? Our rooms in the dorm are right next to each other. Hard to miss each other, really. Well, it's good to see you're getting friends so fast. Friend, I wonder if that's the right word to use for him. Hanako's silence during the proceedings reminds me of the reason I put her up to helping in the first place. We'll go him. <laughs> we'll go help him then. He knows what needs doing, right? That's right. Just ask if you have any problems. Uh, chorusing in ascent, Hanako and I begin another trek across the classroom. Kenji sits crouched uh, crouch on the floor, his gaze fixed on the white uh, calico in front of him. <laughs> hey, Kenji. No answer. He continues dragging his paint stroke brush along the large half painted kanji that's sketched on the sheet and pencil. Kenji? Huh? What? Who is it? If this is the way he treats class members, it's not. Uh, it's no small wonder he's working on this alone. It's me, he saw. But the, 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 skip the text, the thing. What can I. Oh, no, I can't do it like that. It's me, he saw from the. Hello? There we go. Right, right. I know that man. Uh, what are you doing here, though? His dismissive attitude annoys me. He must be the type to really get focused on his work, hating to be disturbed by anyone, 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 until he's done, I suppose. While we talk, the sound of Hanako's footsteps as she walks out from behind me reminds me that she's here. I was just going to help with the banner, Hanako and I, that is. Uh, hello. Oh, er, uh, hey, I guess that's okay. As soon as Hanako enters the equation, this his demeanor takes a complete about oh, face. His sudden faux hospitality is slightly unsettling. Oh right, women, on second thoughts, this may not have been a great idea after all. <laughs> Hanako and I grudgingly set ourselves down on the opposite side of the cloth banner on Kenji, noting the several small paint tins on the ground around it. Class 3-2, noodle stall. You guys selling noodles at the festival on Sunday? Yeah, some stalls outside. Or something. Or something? His non-committal <coughs> His non committal uh, nature sparks a fair amount of suspicion on my behalf. The task at hand comes first though. So how do you want to split this? We do borders while you do the text, or do you want to switch and do the uh, do the borders? Text is mine, you do borders. He has surprisingly strong feelings on the topic. As I reach over to grab a brush, I notice Hanako's already debating between colors to use. By the time I've put a brush uh, to claw, she's already started on a delicate pattern. Looks like my idea of taking her mind off every, uh, everyone around her worked. With a dark blue stroke, the three of us uh, silently get to work. Not before Kenji takes advantage of Hanako's working to lean towards me and whisper conspiration, uh, conspiratorial though. Okay man, why are you here? Hanako just wanted help uh, to find Lily, that's all. He apparently disapproves my motivations. I get it, it looks like I misjudged you. You're infiltrating them, aren't you? Going deep undercover? I should have guessed, letting the truth slip by him would probably be better than outright lying or annoying him in any case. Is that why you're here? Obviously, it sucks, but there is no better way to get intel than uh, going in yourself. We gotta stick together, man. This is a harsh school, a harsh world. Yes, yeah, very harsh. <laughs> he misses my true meaning as he leans back, satisfied. I'm sympathetic to his cause. I'd better get down to work. Finished. Looks like I am too. Good job. The two of us connect up the lines of our patterns, mine being as close a copy as I could ma uh, manage to hers, of hers. With a grunt, I lever myself up from the floor and look around. Aside from Hanako and myself, there is only Kenji left finishing off a sign as well as Lily and a couple of students talking among themselves in the classroom. Looking at my watch, it's no surprise, it's getting pretty late. Need a hand? I offer a hand to Hanako, which she uses to get herself up. As she does, I can't help but glance at her wrists. Uh, if her scars extend even to there, just how much of her body was burned? 
I feel a pang of guilt about it, however, as she quickly covers her wrist with her other hand. Looks good, doesn't it? She looks surprised for a moment before noticing uh, that I'm in the banner. It does, I guess. Her smile shows that she feels a slight sense of pride in the result, just as I do. But the floor is significantly neater for the decorations being placed on desks and shelves. It's much easier to get to Lily as we cross the room. We finished the banner, I guess. That's all that needs to be done. Lily goes. <laughs> Lily gives an appreciative nod. Thank you, Hisao, Hanako. If there's any way I can thank you, it's fine. Beats sitting in my room studying at any rate. I don't mind either. She nods before suddenly remembering one last person. Oh, is Kenji still here? Just as I open my mouth, Kenji gives the answer from the other side of the room. Yeah, I just finished. Carefully slides his sign onto an empty section of shelf to dry before quickly walking past us and out the door. See ya, man. Bye. The remaining two students say their goodbyes to Lily before taking their cue to leave as well, leaving only the three of us. Well, I guess that's everyone. I hope we don't have to do anything like that again. Working past school time? Indeed, the class's plans this year were ambitious, maybe too ambitious. The stalls look nice though. She's right, it shows that a lot of work's gone into them. My my, I'm sure a lot of us would be glad to hear that, at least there's not much work to do until the festival itself. Um, it's getting pretty late, should we go? That's probably a good idea. Are you going back to the dorms as well, Hisao? Yeah, I guess I'll take along. The nighttime lighting really makes the gardens look quite different. Compared to the usual look of lush greenery, things are much more calm. Being that <laughs> it's so late, uh, the lack of students around probably helps. The odd one or two can be seen scurrying to and from dorms trying to, uh, trying to eke the most out of their approaching curfews, but no more. All that can be heard is our footsteps, in addition to Lily's cane regularly gently tapping the ground in front of her. It's nice to finally be able to relax a bit after the mad rush during school. Without even noticing, I let out a small yawn. Tired? Yeah, still getting used to the flow of things, I guess. The uh, thing with Shizune took me kind of off guard, though. I gripped my teeth a little at the candid mention of their rather public spat. That said, I do want to sort out what in the world is behind it. Ah, uh, about that. I'm sorry, but it being so public, Shizune and I go back some ways. Her voice seems slightly irritated as she remembers Shizune, obviously unwilling to discuss it any further. I glance to Hanako for her views on this, but her expression is unsurprisingly evasive and difficult to read. Either way, I guess her apologizing for it is something, even if my curiosity goes unanswered. I'll be glad once the festival is over in any case. Her change of topics welcome clearing the sickening air quickly. I can imagine, my old school's festivals were a lot more low-key than this. Yamaku stresses the idea of a school community, so the, stu uh, so the staff like to make our festivals and such special occasions, and yet the students are the ones who do the work. What an unfair world. Anako and Lily both chuckle in agreement, uh, savoring the fact that none of the staff are around to hear our grumbling. I suppose coming from a strict all-girls school helped me a bit with Yamaku. Compared to there, Yamaku is much more relaxed. That go a way towards explaining her well-bred speech and behavior in any case. As we come up to the do uh, dormitories, it eventually comes time to leave for our respective rooms. See you, Lily, Hanako. The two both give polite nods before, giving, uh, before setting off to the women's dorm just next to the guys. As is to be expected of such an arrangement, there's a staff member casually patrolling around outside to prevent any nighttime shenanigans. Walking past him, I quickly stretch my arms and rub my neck, both quite sore after having worked on the floor for so long before walking to my room. It feels good to actually have direction, though. After so long in the hospital, the everyday facts of studying homework and teachers uh, uh, seem almost uh, a blessing. I guess if things continue like this, my time at Yamaku might turn out okay. Uh, Adhering to the nurse's nagging voice in the back of my head, I set my alarm clock to wake me up early enough to go jogging again. I made a promise and I'm going to keep it. Besides, Emmy is going to rant on me if I don't show up. Uh, rat on me, not rant. Uh, but it's not all that bad.
Okay, guys. I'll see you guys next time for more Kanemoshujo. Kind of